everyone to your mid-month reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay. And thank you everyone for who, and thank you everyone who watches and participates within this channel. This channel wouldn't be anything without you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best message for the beautiful Capricorns. And one more, guys. I feel it. There it is. There it is. Yay. Here it comes. And here it comes for sure. Man, you are moving, 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 and not looking behind you. Um, anybody who's in the way, you're going to run right over. You're swiftly moving in the direction that you need to be going in, whatever that direction is. And you do feel like this, this heavy-duty movement is, you know, the best thing for you at this time. Um, so, yeah. Moving, charging ahead. Okay. And clarify, please, on the Knight of Swords for Cap, who is moving and shaking, shaking and moving. You might have this going, and you might be going really swiftly towards where you're going, but it's crazy because no matter what, though, over here, Cap, you're saying it doesn't matter because I'm still playing it safe, right? So no matter what you're doing and what determination you're really going after, you're really playing it safe on a lot of places, meaning I'm not going to go outside any barriers because I know exactly where I want to go, um, and this is I'm going to take the safe route. Um, so, you know, playing it safe all the time is not always a, a good thing, but it's not always a bad thing either. Um, it depends on how you want to see it. It's going to be about the way that you're playing it safe. Um, maybe for you, this is the best way right now is to play it safe. Maybe you don't need any um, hidden agendas or anything coming at you, right? Sometimes we just want things to go kind of smooth, and that feels like that's exactly what it is. If I play it safe, everything's going more smooth at this time. Maybe you've taken too many risks for a while, and you just, you know what? I don't want to take any more risks. I just want to be right here. And, you know, that's a good thing, though, because at least then you're motivated in knowing exactly where you're going and what's coming at you, right? Sometimes when we play it risky, it hurts, right? It's kind of like playing the lottery. I play too much money with a lottery. I risk too much and I lost too much. And sometimes that's a big, huge scenario. So you're not going to risk anything right now. See why and where you're going. What is the best situation for Capricorn? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, it's kind of crazy because it was, it's like um, persistent action is going the way you want it to go. So you're moving really fast, but somebody else around you is moving really slow. You may be dealing with a Taurus. And if it's not a Taurus, I would say another slow sign would be Scorpio. Because um, really, those are the two slowest signs of the zodiac. Um, you know, he just saying because, you know, Scorpio likes to fence it and Taurus just likes to take their time. I'm going to eat over here, stop, eat, walk, right? So however you want to see it, but it does feel like it's this consistent and constant um, movement. So it could be definitely somebody around you as well. And it feels like you're kind of just running right by them, right? Just like, zoom. So you got the judgment over here in, in the recent past, and then you have the patiently planning upside down. You're saying, you know what, because I'm, you know what, and that's because of the, the playing it safe. You're not going to invest anything at this time. And, you know, it's probably a good thing because in the, in the energy right now, it does feel like spirit is like, you know what, and it's not a good time to invest right now. Your intuition's high on top because in seriousness, right now, it is better to not gamble. It is not time to play the lottery. It is not time to invest in stocks and bonds. Um, right now is not your time, Cap. So I think that's a very good thing for you. So, yeah. So in the, with the judgment call coming in, it feels like, okay, well, you know what? I had this great judgment call. There was this blessing that came in, and this is what got me moving. Moving and shaking, moving and shaking. So whatever it was, it was a healthy blessing or a prayer coming in. Whatever this call was, whatever this, um, you know, blessing is. I'm just going to leave that there. 
because um, I don't think there's anything else really needed there, Cap. That pretty much suggests why you're moving. You know, maybe it was your own judgment call, your own intuition said this is where it's going to be, that this is the way it's going to be done. So there, that's that's a lot right there. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I just feel like this person's kind of in the way, like you're just ran them. You could have just ran them right over. Inference, you're definitely dealing with some kind of Taurus for some of you right there. Uh, with the Taurus, you feel like, okay, you know what? But there wasn't an abundance of stuff, but it was moving very persistent, very slow. Um, maybe this job is taking on Aries energy or this, um, you know, if you work on a job site type of thing. I feel like construction over here for a second. The job site was going very slow um, for some of you. But it was a persistent pay out of the abundance that I need, or it could be love, where you're saying, I see the love and the abundance coming from this person, but I don't have time right now. Uh, but no matter what it is, there's this definite payout, and there's definitely this huge abundance coming that just consistently keeps coming, right? I still think for some of you it's a person because I still feel like, okay, so it's persistently abundant and harvest and moving and doing what it's supposed to do. But there is also something that is clouded. There's like this perception that is clouded um, and this intuition that's clouded around this person. Maybe they don't see it. Maybe they want you to take a leap of faith somewhere where you're saying no because I don't need to do that. So look, well, you're moving over here. I'm going over here. What the? Someone's judgment is definitely clouded. But it's not yours. It could be this other earth sign. It could be this earth sign. Taurus, Virgo. Or another Capricorn. But it's not you. Because it almost feels like you're saying, I don't have time to sit over here and play around. It feels like whatever this person is, they're... Clouded. They have clouded visions, clouded judgment, clouded energy going on. And you're running right past them while they're kind of screwing around. And it feels like for some of you, like, yeah, they're still getting their harvest. They're still doing what they're doing, but it just feels like it's taking them forever. And you're like, I don't have time to do that. I, I need my, and yours is coming in faster. Messages of the Queen of Coins. It's almost like you're going to send a message. You, my friends, are going to send this message. You have a message to relay. You have a message to relay about how you're getting to the top. How they're kind of screwing around. <clears throat> they might. You might even feel like they're kind of... Um, Would say weaken the situation. I think they want you to take risks. They want you to take the risk that they're doing, and you're telling them you're sending the message that no, if we take that risk, it's not going to work. No, absolutely not. You got them kind of overwhelmed a little bit in their head because they don't understand what you're doing. They're saying, "How come you're running so fast? I'm I'm persistently doing this," and you're telling them no. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, their, their judgment is clouded. It's like they're not seeing the overall picture of the situation, whatever the situation is for you, my friends, and it's very overwhelming. And you're saying, okay, fine, well, you know what, then that, that, I just have to let that go then. Because the direction that I'm going in, you don't understand. I'm moving fast, I'm moving swift, but I'm not putting any money or any time into some kind of risk. I'm playing it safe right now. I don't have... The, um, that's going to cause a loss. I don't have time for losses. See, because I'm getting too much success right now. So it's almost like they want you to go in a direction that they're going in or pulling you into a direction. And you're saying, no, 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 no. Not a... It's not a time to 
in the near future over her potential end outcome, you do have two juggling, juggling two factors over here. But you don't want to invest into this, this situation because it's too risky. It's not, it's going to cause loss, right? It's not going to be the fruitation that you're looking for. And the moving and the shaking that you're doing allows a lot of multitasking and a lot of things. This person feels like they're kind of making you maybe sit more still than you need to, but you're saying, I know I, I got this. Uh, with the two, two of pentacles, you're definitely balancing a lot of things going on within your mind. Um, but you're going to escape that situation within whatever that is they're trying to give you. Yeah. It's like you found a passionate way of doing something and playing it safe at this time. And this is where the great blessings come in. Um, if you escape this energy that you're going on to right now, it almost feels like you're saying, well, no, because then I will be thieving from myself. And you would be because you're tossing a lot right now. You're tossing a lot around with the queen of swords over here. Yes, you're cutting through a lot of stuff and you know exactly what you're doing and you're taking really the high road and you know that this is the highest road you've probably been on for, you know, a while because you kind of figured this out. Um, there, there's definitely a divine essence going around you. You probably kind of feel that. It's almost like they're trying to stir the, the pot. They want to stir the pot, though. They want to stir the pot because they're saying, but I, as I'm watching you and kind of spying on you, the situation that I'm going through is starting to go downhill. It's starting to get overwhelming for me. So now it almost makes them feel like, hey, you know, Cap, whatever you're doing, I need your, they need your help. But you're not going in that direction. But you know, you're not going to go into that direction to go and try to help them out because they didn't want us to do that. So they stopped doing what they're doing. And now they're trying to come up to the direction that you're in because they see that you're going up the success ladder. So whatever the situation is, you tried to get them to go that way before, but they don't want to do that. But now they all of a sudden want to change the cycle and say, well, okay, well, if this is where everything stops for me, and everything keeps going for you, but you said that over here. I'm not going the way that you're going. You're going too slow. Yep. So now they see the prosperity is coming through, but they're confused about the situation while you're resting. And you're saying, well, you have to use your intuition to get to the top. But there's a celebration going on for yourself um, within the situation. Why don't they want to do that? I'll tell you why, because of... Because they don't want to know that, you know, they don't want to see that they were wrong. They don't want you to know that they were truly wrong. Oh, but they don't want to look, add up to it. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you I was wrong. I'm just going to wait for the chance for me to get to the success. And then maybe you'll pick me up along the way over here, Cap. Can you pick me up along the way? Because if you could pick me up along the way... then maybe you can change the wheel. Maybe I'm going to leave it up to you. Okay, well, that's going to be an interesting story because then you're going to say, oh, you pick me up on the way, then I'll see the, which decisions you're going to make. So what are the decisions you're going to make? And you're saying, well, playing a safe is the first one because look, all these losses that you have over here is not the way that we hold on to stuff. Hey, they got themselves stuck now. Now they got themselves stuck, yep. And this is because they wanted to be the superior. They wanted to be the stubborn. They wanted to see it as themselves in their own light, in their own way, and they were not going to move. So being that stubborn, they end up hurting themselves, but they want you to backtrack now, Cap, to come and rescue them. Can you come rescue me? Come rescue me because now I have, you know, I have faith though, Cap, that you're going to come and save me. I have, I have the faith. Will you be my knight in shining armor? Oh my gosh, there it is. My knight in shining armor. <laughs> Will you be my knight in shining armor, Capricorn? Because, you know, I, I need rescuing. I, I dropped the ball. I messed it up. 
You know, it's crazy though, Kat, because you told him over here, because I seen you weak. I seen you messing it up. You didn't listen to me. When you make that call or that text to tell them, this is what you need to be doing. And then they show you weakness against the situation. You, you know, right then and there, you're like, okay, well, that's it. You're lost. You're confused. You're not going to see what's coming up next because you're going to miss, you're going to miss the ride. You're going to mix, miss your taxi, right? <clears throat> kind of like the bus is moving without you. Hey. Nope, they didn't want, they don't want to. And it's kind of crazy because you're going to let them know, hey, there's success over here. This is the way it should be going. And they're saying, no, no, no. Everything's going good over here for a second. Yeah, for a second. But what, well, how long do we want a second? You know, we don't want life to just be good for a second. We would like to pick up the pace and just have it continuously going. Well, see, this seems like they've been having this go good for them for a while. But it does seem to me, Cap, that you do know it's going to end. Because, you know, why else would you call them and say, hey, you need to come this way. I'm fast and furious going this way. You're not playing it safe. You're taking too many risks. Too many other things are going on and you need to slow down. Um, in those areas of the way you're doing things. Even though they're not moving very fast with, with the uh, Taurus card, but that doesn't mean that they're really, it just means it's consistently, persistently moving through abundance, right? But you said it's going to drop. It's not going to stay. They don't want to move. So yeah, they want you to come save them. Yeah, how are you going to save them? When they're that stubborn with the emperor upside down, they're saying, come save me. But you know what? My stubbornness is not going to change. Well, if you're not going to change, there's nothing I can do. Until what? They finally, it looks like they finally have to hit the bottom, rock bottom over here, guys, to actually really want the help, to actually really say something. No. Otherwise, they're just going to keep arguing their point. Well, I don't know, but I'm in, I'm in hell's gates right now because I'm really hit rock bottom, but can you come save me? You're like, no, I'm not going to do all that for you until they really cry out. So I don't know, guys, but they definitely need to get more clear about this situation and understand what is really going on because they're fabricating their whole life. They're, they're living behind a facade is what's going on. And what you're telling, you know, them is, look, you're delusional. This is not what reality is. Um, it, you know, and you can't just be doing this all the time. This is not real. You put yourself into a fantasy land and that's really what's going on. Um, is in the fantasy and delusion is that whatever they're doing, my friends, whatever your situation is, they think it can last forever. And you already know it cannot. That's not, that's not reality of what you're doing. Right. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.